Hello, and welcome to this video on how to plot depth, power, ground, and other nets. I'm James Paris, and in this video, I'll show you how to use the FDI to GDS utility to annotate net names and net types from depth to GDS. The FDI to GDS utility has several options that pertain specifically to left depth export. The FDI to GDS command line options to convert left depth to GDS are pretty standard. To export the depth net type as a property, we need to use the annotate net type option followed by a GDS property number for the net types. To annotate the net names, we need to use the annotate nets option. In this case, we need to explicitly say that we're exporting property and not text, and specify a property number. The other options are pretty standard, layer map file, object map file, and the output GDS. After FDI to GDS finishes, I can open the GDS file in DesignRef. I can zoom in and look at some of the nets here and if I select one and look at the properties we can see that we have the net name and the net type attached to this as properties 10 and 11. To highlight the net types and the net names I can use the find utility in design rev. Under the optional filter you can see the option for match property. Here I can type in the property name and then the value that I want to look for, so for example power. And then under result options, I'll specify a layer I want it to be output on. So this shows all the power net types that were in the def file that have been now converted to GDS and annotated as net type property 10. To look at a specific power net by name, I can use the layer I generated as the input and then specify net name property 11 and then my analog net name. I'll specify a different output layer for this one. My analog blocks are in the lower left corner. If I zoom in there, I can see that I have the digital power and the analog power running across these blocks. So I might want to fix that. If I'm really concerned about sensitive analog blocks, I can go back to my find object dialog and look at all the signal nets and see how those interact with the analog blocks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.